All the muchachos, welcome here. Today I decided to show you guys my stretch flow routine. Previously I did a video and it was like a day in the life vlog. That video I can link down below and in that I showed just a fast forwarded clip of my kind of stretch flow routine. A lot of you are interested in that and you want to see how I went about doing it. How much time does it take? A lot of you were curious about that, especially being maybe a busy mama or a high school or college student or just someone who is preoccupied with work. Sometimes it's hard to fit in a good exercise or a good stretch. So this routine can take me 10 minutes or half an hour depending on how many moves that I do in a certain sequence or like position and then on top of that how long I hold them for. So these you can really kind of cater to what's going to work for you and your time schedule. So I also want it to be extremely relatable and be on natural today because for the most part when I do my stretch flow routine it is in the morning. We are not full on glam or fancy. We are this and this is my realistic look for a stretch flow. This is a routine that I've been doing for quite a while, but it does change up from here to there. But I wanna do some more of these stretch flow routine videos and I do really hope you guys enjoy. And also be sure to check with your doctor or any type of health professional that has way more authority than me over your body. We have our little book reader and she's gonna be joining me for today's video. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We are set for 10 minutes on our timer. Ivy has completely fallen asleep. And if also you would like, use a yoga mat. I just have partial carpet, partial laminate, just working with what I got for now. I also like being barefoot in comfortable clothing. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I like to have soft knees, my feet about yay apart and not pointing completely to the front, opened a little bit. And we're just gonna work on a little bit of breathing and just opening up the body. Ivy is snoring. <laughs> So we're gonna put our hands stretched to each side on the way going down. We're gonna breathe out. We're gonna open this up a little bit more. We wanna make sure our knees don't go over our toes. So we're gonna go down, almost like you're picking up a barrel or like a big thing of flowers. Go down and then breathe in. And again. This is an active stretch. This isn't something where you're just doing the position. You need to stretch down and stretch up. If you wanna open up your chest a bit, take your arms more backwards. And keep your knees nice and soft. If you feel like you can't really squat far down, just go to where you're comfortable, even something like this is fantastic. That's perfect. Next, what we're gonna do is actually take our hands, we're gonna clasp them behind us, and we're gonna lean forward. We're gonna use gravity to really pull our arms down. It's gonna give us a good stretch. Nice and slow. on up. You can hold that stretch for longer if you want, but we only have 10 minutes. From here, I'm going to go down again using my hands and we're going to go over to our left leg. Continually breathing. I'm also already out of breath and I'm already sweating. I like having active stretches. It's a little bit of a workout and it feels great. So really keep your body close to your leg. Even if you can only go here, you feel a little bit comfortable, unstable, un wobbly, you can go ahead, pivot that leg out a little bit more and keep your hands here, just as long as your back is flat. We're gonna bend that right leg, come right down. You should feel an awesome stretch right through here. You're gonna come on up, walk your hands over to the other side. And again, drop that body if you can. I know stretching can feel a little uncomfortable sometimes. But as long as you just keep on breathing, you're gonna get through it. Bend that left leg, really, really bend it. Keep that body nice and close to this leg. And come on up. Walk your hands to the center. And 
Go ahead, put your feet together. And don't feel the need to turn around, but I'm gonna go ahead so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna do some groundwork. So from here, we're just gonna go ahead Stay on the balls of your feet, right on your toes. You're gonna bend your toes like this. This is creating stretching through your foot, through your toes. Too many people don't think about properly stretching their feet. And over time, especially when they're older, they have a lot of issues with them. Stretching your feet is so brutally important. So we're just gonna hold this just for a little bit. Bring my legs in a little bit more. Also, we have some serious thighs. Don't be scared about having some thighs, ladies. I think it's actually really awesome. Feels so good. So from here, we're gonna work on our thighs and our legs, our inner groin area. So we're gonna go ahead and take that left foot and just plant it really solid on the ground in front of us. Go ahead. Make sure you're comfortable. You're gonna push, push forward. Really take those hips. Don't let them kind of fall forward or get out of line. You wanna keep them as in line as possible. You can go ahead and just rest your hands here. And really just let your body sink into this position. And continue breathing. It can be a hard position to hold. But feels great. We're halfway done already. We're gonna go ahead and lean back. And keep that foot nice and flexed and lean forward. You can come back forward and up. You can stay in this position if you want. If you want to take it a little bit farther, take that left foot, just move it to the side of it to give some room for your body to come on down. This is going to create an even more intense stretch. Again, if you feel like you can't do this, just do the previous stretch. It's just as good. Just a little bit less deep of a stretch, which is totally fine. I like to sway a little bit. And we're going to come back up. And we're going to switch. We're going to do it on the other side. All right, through here. Make sure I'm not showing anything I shouldn't. And look, cellulite. Totally normal to have it. Just gonna again push forward. <sighs> Continuing to breathe. Work on that posture. I have the worst posture in the world, but when I'm stretching, I really try to work on it. <sighs> Come on back. You can sit right on that leg. Keep this foot nice and flexed. Lean forward. come back up and again we're going to just do a little bit more of that intense stretch do whatever is comfortable for you don't push yourself I love stretching it always feels so good All right, we got just less than three minutes left so from here we're gonna do a little bit of an interesting move and position. So usually we all know about the, the cat stretch. You pull almost like there's a spot or a rope on your spine that's being pulled up to the ceiling, just like that. Or almost like someone's pushing on your spine and it's kind of concaving. That's a good position, but I like to make it a little bit more active. So I'm gonna curve down and roll up. This is great for spine mobility. And to be honest, some of the more interesting looking stretches really work the best. We go the other direction. I feel like this is such a good stretch for postpartum just because with pregnancy, your spine goes under a lot of duress. And this feels so good to make it really mobile again just go into a bit of a child stretch here. And again, this isn't a position, this is an active stretch. It's really stretch your arms forward. 
and we're just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and go onto our backs. <sighs> Take your arms into the cactus position and your legs go up. You're gonna take your legs onto one side, keeping uh, your shoulder blades on the ground as much as possible. <sighs> keeping your arms on the ground. More intense stretch. Take that bottom leg and put it over the top one. You're gonna feel stretch through your side back, or the side of your back. This is me talking. <laughs> Feels great. This is something that is great for people who sit in an office chair all day. Just really stretch this out. So easily gets cramped through your torso back area. And this feels fantastic. Oh, we're gonna come on up. And just sit on our bum. I believe we have about 30 seconds. So oh, let's keep on breathing. Just tilt our head to the side. Go ahead, take that arm. And pull your head down, encourage a deep stretch through here. Take that other arm, pull it to the side. Just really encourage a head to fingertip stretch. Fix your hair a bit. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do it to the other side. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good timing. We're all done. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, I want to talk to you guys and know what you're up to. Give me some info down below. Are you a stretcher? Do you not stretch too often? Would you like to stretch more? Or do you stretch so much you'd rather just stretch less? Let me know what you're up to and what you think of today's video. Thank you for being here and I will see you in my next one. Bye.